there isn't much to do in the vegetable garden at this time of year, though you can still be protecting your winter crops, harvesting when you need it, and also planting garlic so it gets the cold period it needs to make fantastic big bulbs next summer. Unlike the summer crops, winter crops last well in the ground, so you don't need to dig them all up at once. Just take a few whenever you need them. Some veg, like the parsnip, even taste better once they've had a bit of frost as it helps to sweeten up the flavour. With your stored crops like your onions and potatoes and squash at home, you should have a really good spread for your Christmas dinner. There are loads of really tasty brassicas at this time of year. These Brussels sprouts are growing well. Now one thing I need to do is to regularly go in and remove yellowing leaves like this that form from the base up. They'll get fungal problems if I leave them and also I'm preventing air circulation around the bottom of the plant. Now when you come to pick Brussels sprouts, the best tip is to always pick from the bottom up because as you can see, the bottom ones are bigger than the ones at the top. Look at your plants, if they've grown really tall like these ones, make sure that you stake them with a really solid bit of bamboo or a wooden stake and then they won't fall over in the wind. And then a final tip is make sure you always cover over your plants with a netting, otherwise you'll come along and find the pigeons have eaten them all. Garlic needs a good cold period to make big bulbs. Our research has shown that in the south you're better off planting it in November, though in colder and wetter areas you're probably better off planting from December through to February, depending on how the weather conditions are. When you plant garlic, always use a Best Buy variety. The supermarket bulbs really are meant for growing in much hotter, drier climates than ours and really won't produce a very good crop. When you come to plant it, take the bulb and then break it up into individual cloves and then plant them about 15 centimetres apart. The compost that's been rotting down throughout the spring and summer is now ready to be spread on the beds, ready for the worms to pull it down into the soil without me needing to dig it in. Now the crops are being cleared, it's a great time to tidy up at the allotment. Gather together the bamboo canes and then tie them together in bundles of the same size cane because then next year when you want to make your wigwams again it will be easy to find just the right cane you want. At this time of year you can take advantage of all those wonderful free leaves that are lying around everywhere. Gather them up and then either put them in the general compost heap or put them in black plastic bin bags or even a lovely chicken wire frame and then allow them to rot down for at least a year and you'll get wonderful leaf mould. After all your hard work growing your crops this summer, it's worth checking over stored crops like these potatoes or onions and making sure they're in good shape so they store for as long as possible. Gently tip them out of the bag and then squeeze them and put them back in Remove any like this one that are showing signs of rot because before you know it that will spread to the whole bag and everything would go off. 